You guys are watching the Cowboys Report presented today by Manscaped. If you're looking for the perfect stocking stuffer this holiday season, try out Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping when you use promo code COWBOYS. Perfect to add to your holiday wish list or to get for your significant other in your life. Or tell them to get for you. Manscaped.com, promo code COWBOYS. There are some super thanks I want to get to to begin today's show. Steven Goltz just says, thanks. I appreciate that one, my friend. He also says... I forgot to put the second part in there because he followed it up with a second message, so give me a second here. But Steven at the $5 Super Thanks will always give shout-outs there. He also said, we should send Jeremy ties for Christmas since he loves ties in football, only silver and blue and not green, which I find funny. Thank you very much for that one, Steven. All right, Andres Bad Wolf Ibarvo, he's adding the nickname now, says, Happy Thanksgiving from the Husbears. Thank you very much, Andres. I appreciate that. You're quite kind. If you do a super thanks, it's a new feature here on YouTube, new-ish feature, I should say, where you're able to donate outside of live videos. So not just a super chat. You can do it on demand for any video that we do here. Click the thanks icon. It's the little heart with the dollar sign in the middle of it. You can then edit your message or follow up with the same comment if it's being buggy or whatnot there. We appreciate your support here on the Cowboys Report. If you do a super thanks, we will give you a shout out. And if you do a $50 super thanks like Mark Clark did, We'll give you some extra love. He says, happy birthday, old man. I did turn 30 on Friday, so I am I, I am now old. I, I am old now. That's that's how it works. That's nah, not true, Jeremy, but I am old. Thank you for the good content. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Everyone do me a favor and type Mark in the comment section for his $50 super thanks. Big ups to you, Mark. We appreciate your support here on the Cowboys Report. I'm Jeff Parwar. Cowboys need to be careful this month. They have struggled against AFC teams. Need more Schultz, Pollard. I think you mean Turpin, not back-to-back -back Tony Pollard's in there on offense. I think Schultz is being used properly. I'm pleased with the way Pollard has done things so far this year. I wouldn't mind figuring out something involving, assuming you do mean Kevontae Turpin. Yeah, as for the AFC teams, some trap games coming. But these AFC teams outside of ten well, it's AFC South now. They're not that good. They're not. Tennessee's good. Other three, you should be able to beat. $5 Super Chat now from Justin. If we stop the run, we win the game. That's against the Colts. That's all games now to the Super Bowl. Oh, there you go. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Kaylee loves them boys. Thanks. Kaylee loves them boys. You're welcome, Justin. And if you can stop the run, you're going to be in really good position. Now, you need your offense to play well. You need your pass defense to play the way we think they can play as well. But I am inclined to agree with you. We can, go, we can go to that one, Jeremy. You're good. That's fine. Uh, Nate Rosario, let the, let, let's play the Giants and Eagles in the playoffs. <sighs> the NFC is very much wide open. I think the Eagles, Niners, Bucks, because of the scarring I have from playing them in the past, are all v very good teams. Eagles, too. I think you can beat the Giants. Eagles will be a much tougher route. Let's be honest there. We might not like them, but they're going to be the... Probably the number one seed in the NFC. Vikings, I still think, will. They'll play you much better if you play them again the second time around. Legendary Leo. In the first round, get Noah Sewell, linebacker from Oregon. Then in the second, get Jalen Jones. You might have them flipped, honestly. Uh, we'll see what they do testing-wise, if they go pro, etc. I've been very impressed by Jalen Jones entering this year. I have not looked at the LSU and m stuff yet, so, you know, uh, you know spot check that. But... Sewell's been not as big of a playmaker. I might have him flipped in terms of how I prefer him, but you do adjust two big needs on defense, adding those guys, so I like what you're going for there. <coughs> From Glock Nest Monster, Jeremy's favorite and Jack's favorite too, I'm worried if we sign Odell, then Dag and Kellen will feel too pressured to get him involved and keep him happy, then the run game goes back to non-existence. Thoughts? I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I think... The Cowboys, Kellen wants to throw. Like, at his core, he wants to throw the football. And you can go back and watch how many times the Cowboys are doing checks and stuff and how often a run play comes after those checks, especially when they go kill, 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 and they go to their uh, plan B play call there. Now, Dak kind of said, ah, there was some fake checks against the Giants, and I'm not sure he's being honest because short, short week, I think he was trying to get everyone aligned with against the blitzing team, but... I understand where you're coming from. Um, I think this team is still going to commit to the run because I think your uh, decision makers above Kellen want to make sure that that ends up happening. 
Now, today's Cowboys report is made possible by Manscaped. Do your little drummer boy a favor and use the Lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. And then make sure you're getting all of their great products, including the Platinum Package 4.0. Now that you've groomed your candy cane, it's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Platinum Package shower products. Excuse me. 20% off and free shipping this holiday season when you use promo code COWBOYS right there at the bottom of your screen at manscaped.com. Come get your jingle balls ready for the holidays with Manscaped. Twenty percent off and free shipping at Manscaped.com. Make sure Santa's not the only one coming this holiday season. That's a good one. TKG. I really hope we get him. And what he did yesterday was plan between him and Jerry. This is about Odo Beckham. There's no grand conspiracy theory, and it makes zero sense for Odell Beckham to plan that with Jerry. Why would Odell do something negative to himself? When he can just go, I'm going to go to the Cowboys. Makes no sense. Fun conspiracy theory, I guess, but it was not planned at all. From Rex Morgan, if James Washington was a used car, he'd be fired under the lemon law. That's a deep cut for people who don't know car stuff at all. Uh, I don't know if he's quite there yet in terms of, of the lemon, but he hasn't practiced. Because he, he would have I think he would have been back if you needed a receiver. Like, or you weren't in the mix for others, and the Cowboys are in the mix for others right now. I think that's why he's not out there. From Sal the Engineer, how is Tyler Smith done this season overall? I would say, like, promising is the one word, like, one word reaction I'd use for it. Not perfect. A, a, powerful is another good one. He, he's, he has been the penalty boy, though, for this Cowboys team. Now, two of those have been declined because he got gave up sacks on him, too. He's got 10 penalties in almost the identical amount of snaps as Tyron Smith last year. Hey, he's been healthy, at least. Just worse across the board, right? Which is to be expected. That's a, that's a Hall of Famer left tackle. It's a first-round pick who we knew was raw, and you're trying to bring along at the proper speed, and you're more worried about what's it going to be in three years than what he is right this second. Four sacks, seven hits, 14 hurries. I think the PFF run grade is really low. Uh, very powerful player when his hands are on you and his feet are following properly. You're not going anywhere. There's been a lot of promise out of Tyler Smith, and if you had told me he plays like that in year one, I'd have been very happy, and I would feel a lot better about the, the draft pick. But there have been some ups and downs, and hopefully those downs don't hit you in the playoffs at the worst possible time. He had some mistakes against the Giants that almost really killed you. He got smoked by Kayvon Thibodeau. It's a great matchup for Thibodeau. Thibodeau's a great player. So overall, I'm happy with Tyler Smith. How do you feel about him? Grade it. A, B, C, D, or F in the comment section. From Ruben, safety free agents. No one of note. I assume you mean like right now. You know, next to you guys got you got guys like maybe Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Jesse Bates, but you got Jaron Curse. He's fine despite the uh, dislocated shoulder. He came back in the game. Donovan Wilson's been great. Malik Hooker's been fine. You got good depth and Marquise Bell and Israel McQuamu. I don't feel safety's a need. That's me saying it. Daniel Johnson, every single week I watch the Eagles barely beat bad teams, yet everyone keeps stroking them. But if Dak barely beats the Colts on Sunday, the Colts are trash, fire, McCarthy. This is part of what being a Cowboys fan is. From your own fan base, you get it too, right? I think at times, because we've seen how good the Cowboys offense is, if I had told you, hey, hey the Cowboys are up 28 to whatever it was, 12, 13, over the Giants with like five minutes to go, you would have went, awesome, cool, I'll, I'll take that. You win the football game. But the way they got there was like, oh, they, they didn't play that great. They, they destroyed the Giants in the second half, and the first half was bad. You're playing three games in 12 days. I think that was okay from the Cowboys. Like, at this point, that game, you just got to win it. You should be able to beat the Colts handily. I'll take wins because it's the NFL. But they keep covering spreads or almost covering spreads. That like I'm not mad with the way they've played the past four weeks. The offense has been great overall. Inconsistency, inconsistency sure. I would say don't listen to the talking heads too much from ESPN and whatnot. Instead, subscribe to the Cowboys Report. Free videos every single day right here on the Cowboys, where we are officially back in Cowboys regular season watch party mode. Bad first couple drives, they're going to lose the football game. Then they end up winning by, really call it two scores. That was a garbage time touchdown by the Giants. So some of you have one already. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. 
One amazing guy has a $20 super chat about Manscaped. Make sure that your chestnuts are the only nuts that are roasting. Get Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping when you use promo code COWBOYS. One amazing guy nailed it. Cheers to you, my friends, with that awesome super chat. 20% off and free shipping when you use promo code COWBOYS over at Manscaped.com. Big ups to one amazing guy. Shane Amick, besides the trap game, what's the concern of the Colts? I wouldn't call the Colts the trap game. Call it the one before you play the Eagles as the trap game, just timing-wise. The concern is their ground game. Now, we'll see how they play on the football, of course, or film this Monday afternoon, so they haven't played that game yet. They, can, they have been able to run the football better as of late. Now, their offensive line sucks. If you force them to throw it, you can run them out of the building quite literally because their offensive line is bad and Matt Ryan can't move in the pocket anymore. But if they can run the football and they're going to try to try to run it a lot, you might have a, a trickier time like you did against you know the, the Packers or the, the Bears, for example. At least in terms of your defense. Duncan39, can we afford both OBJ and Pollard? I want to secure Pollard. You can. You can make that work if you want to. Don't let don't let anyone tell you, oh, the Cowboys couldn't do anything because of the Zeke contract. The Zeke contract is expensive this year, but let's not pretend that like 10% of your salary cap or whatever the exact number was, it's, it's it's around there, is the reason why you couldn't spend anything. That's just that's not how anything works in, when it comes to money. So you can afford both if you want to. It's a matter of do they want to in the end. From Al, start Damone Clark over Anthony Barr. I don't hate this idea. Uh, I think Damone Clark is getting better each time he's out there. I'm glad they've played him at linebacker and not Micah Parsons at off-ball linebacker. That was They tried it one game and it didn't work at all. Keep playing Damone Clark. He's shown some promise at a forced fumble, not recovered. It was a nice play, though. 17 tackles in what basically is three full games of snaps. You know, uh, two-thirds of a game uh, when Barr first got hurt, then seven snaps, then two starts. It's pretty solid, and the future is now, I think, for Damone Clark at linebacker. I was surprised he even playing this year. I'm happy that he is. All right, pick a starter for me at linebacker opposite LVE. AB for Anthony Barr, DC for Damone Clark. Sound off for me in the comment section with who you want as the number two inside linebacker for this Dallas Cowboys team. Ryan Kennedy, next few games will be rough and we can't stop the run. How do you think we will do? I think they'll be better. Uh, the Texans have not been able to run the football at all. They've had major issues. Now, that Jags game is going to be much tougher. Trevor Lawrence is coming along nicely. That is, and you, teams do it all the time. The Ravens just did it. They were like, oh, it's the Jags. They suck. And they got trapped game by it. That Jags game worries me the most. Then, in, then Houston, Tennessee, Philly. They want to run the football. Show me what you can do, you know, run D in December and January. It matters at the end here. Ryan Dixon, Carroll, do you think we draft Bijan Robinson or Jameer Gibbs in the first if they're both there when we pick? Is Antonio Johnson man, an outside corner in the NFL? Um, I, I'd be down with Robinson back end of round one, but a lot of this depends on what you end up doing with uh, Zeke and Tony Pollard if you – Keep one. Maybe you don't go round one for your other back. You wait a round or two rounds or whatever. Uh, Johnson is going to be a nickel corner or really more that overhang safety guy in the NFL. He's He might be listed at corner by some, but he's played that kind of strong safety, nickel, overhang, outside linebacker, edge, hybrid role for AM. He's not He's not an outside guy in the end. Now, if I didn't get to your question, DM me on Twitter at what? going downy my dms are open and they'll be free so hit me up with any questions you guys have